uh, today we will be looking into the art of breaking tasks for developers uh, whenever there is a task uh, the first step is to ensure that you understand the task completely uh, read all the requirements have planning sessions have have communication uh, just gather all the specification and make sure you know that um, what needs to be done so the next thing uh, that you want to do is to identify all the deliverables uh, deliverables means all the components that uh, that can go live independently so uh, once we have those uh, the next thing is to find out all the dependencies between different components basically when you know um, what are the dependencies how different components depends on each other uh, you will be able to add right priority uh, those deliverables the next step would be to just uh, break down those deliverable or components into further subtasks each subtask should be be something that is doable within limited time frame and has very specific requirements the next would be to just prioritize those subtasks you would want to prioritize subtask that has less dependencies rather than prioritizing a task with with multiple dependencies uh, the next thing to do would would be to assign uh, those subtask to you yourself or or someone from the team that has the right expertise to get it done next very important step is to track the progress now let's have a look at how um, we can see it in diagram form so on the top this arrow the arrow in red the priority of the task uh, is greater on the left side and lower as you move towards right um, similarly the dependencies uh, increase when you move towards the right so imagine you have a task and you were able to divide that task into three different deliverables then uh, you need to look into all deliverables and further divide deliverables into independent subtasks so as you can see the task with more priority are at the bottom as you move up the dependencies increase this subtask is independent of these two but this subtask may or may not depend on this one let's say we have this so we have subscription management uh, we have identified three deliverables so we have phase 1 as a deliverable phase 2 as a deliverable and phase 3 as a deliverable Both keep in mind dependencies will uh, increase as you go above this ladder these uh, the task at the bottom are are the one with with less dependencies so uh we have uh, divided phase 1 into three um subtask uh one is initial setup and the other one is um syncing with backend um and the third one third and last one is the warnings and the front end changes if we think about initial setup um what are the things that needed to be done we needed to create a catalog all the other things are dependent on this um catalog uh, creation so first thing we want to do is to create a catalog once that's done we can um move towards uh, create, creating price points and similarly creating sign up pages uh, managing zero and all that stuff so um if you move towards right of this uh, this uh, task was pretty much dependent on this thing so reflecting this dependency so if you move towards right um subtask depends on uh, on the task before it uh, if you move down the ladder the the first thing um, i started was to create a database schema it is really independent of everything that is why it is at the bottom of this subtask uh, hierarchy so after that um, i added logic to sync products and product families uh, then then the subscriptions themselves Uh, after that we worked on um, implementing web hooks and all the actions related to those um then managing uh, features blocking them unblocking them uh, then at the end um, because this task was dependent on all these things to be in place um last step for this task was to create apis for 
warning stuff somewhere in the middle of this um content team could uh, star example they can um, design um, ui elements uh, with more apis uh, but once uh, this sub task is done they can integrate those apis they can uh, show design the warnings they can implement uh, access blocking and once these sub tasks are done deliverable is the thing that need to be deployed once it's complete and it is complete when everything under it is complete similar thing we can do with deliverable phase 2 with phase 3 as well the very important thing to remember is the collaboration because collaboration is the key and uh, there are many stages in the entire life cycle of 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 any task where we need to collaborate with different teams so i have created an other diagram on the left hand side uh, we have a task timeline and we have multiple teams first thing uh, where where any task start is from planning um, we have planning sessions and communication on how to get things done after that the design team will start working on the design you will notice that in the middle of this design this back end and front end team is overlapping with this with the design part that means this is the phase where they communicate with each other to see if the design that's being made is feasible technically as some part of the designs are ready uh, back end team can really start working on those things along with the collaboration of front end team front end and back end teams go hand in hand to really discuss all the ui elements uh, in the design and all the apis needed to uh build that so back end team uh, should be bit ahead of front end team on creating those apis because uh, those are needed for front end to actually get started with integration but the design element and they can do without apis as well so uh, it really depends how we want to go about it after that testing uh, teams collaborate with front end team and where needed with back end team to uh, test everything uh, and give feedbacks if it is a deliverable we deploy it uh, otherwise we wait for other sub tasks to complete so that we can create a deliverable <laughs>